All right, another day of yurt interior work. Just two days left of this week of pushing to get stuff done. The boys are doing rafter stuff. Gary's doing shower stuff and we're at a funny part of a project where you can't just throw a bunch of bodies at anything to make it faster. So I'm gonna be outside doing some miscellaneous plumbing and electrical stuff. We bought a water heater that temporarily is just gonna sit outside. But yeah, you guys yell at me if I can be helpful. Thank you. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna put a water heater temporarily just out here. Long term, what we're gonna do is build a utility room off of here that'll have you know an electrical box and a water heater in it, and it'll have a washer and dryer and that act as a mud room. Um, but we don't have time to get that done right now. So to get a shower working in the yurt in the short term, a water heater is just gonna be sitting outside, and that'll work. So I'll go mess with that. I see Tina in there in her jammies. Hi. Do those count as jammies? I guess if you put a vest on, it's not jammies anymore. <laughs> Very fancy. And my boots. Tina has an appointment today. And oh, look at the kitties. Who's being the gorgeous kitties? <laughs> Brothers. Brothers. They fight all the time. It's so good to have gotten a pair. Yeah, it's we're perfect. really happy we got two kitties because mm -hmm. they keep each other occupied. And this shop is a perfect space for them. They'll disappear for a few hours and it's because they're tucked away in a nook or cranny napping together and stuff like that. It's fun. Gare built these two pipes. These pipes went in as we were building the foundation because that was the best chance to do it. Now that the foundation is done, it would be, you'd be pulling up floor to put these pipes where they are. So these are the inlet, hot, cold, into the yurt. So I'm gonna make those connections right now.
So we turned on the water and it worked well. So this tank is full of water and now we're looking at the electrical. Okay. All right, Tina, let's have a tour of the yurt. All right. So Jarvis came in the side door. Over here is going to be our kitchen. We're hoping to get cabinets in a month or two. We've had some quotes. You can see where the kitchen done. sink will be. Is that Oh, yeah, pipe? that black and white pipe over there kind of tucked behind there. Over where all the beds and are is going to be an Aria. Aria's reading in bed, even though it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. That's going to be the living room area. So... All our beds will be in our bedroom and the kids will be up on the loft. In the middle will be kind of our dining, so we'll have our table in kind of that area. That's that'll be flexible. We can very decide. flexible. The exciting part is what Gare and Jarvis and the boys finished. So in here is our bathroom. So this vanity put in, put a board here. We'll put some mirror and shelving and racks. Um this shower they worked endlessly on to get in in the toilet. And then in this back corner, we're gonna create some sort of shelving. So we need to put a little more thinking in how we want that to be. But there's a good amount of unusable space back here, but that'll be great for shelving. So we're really excited about that. And yep. then right here is where there's going to be the ladder up to the loft. So, there's we'll the loft up there. We hit, we didn't get to tongue and groove floor. So the floor of the loft will be the ceiling of the bedroom and bathroom, which will be the same tongue and groove you see here on the walls will be in there. So here's a really huge opening, but this is gonna be barn doors that'll open up each way. And then in here is our bedroom. So right in this area where the shop back is, there's just enough room for our king bed to be. Right, yeah, to follow, it follows that post will be the corner of the bed. So you'll kind of come in and you can jump on the bed or you can go over this way. And then in this area is going to be room to stand and get dressed. And closet it's going to be closet storage. So in our bedroom, we use it to sleep and get dressed. So that's what we have it designed for so we can save the majority of the room for our yeah future living room we made the dining room and kitchen we made the bedroom as small as possible so we sacrifice things like on my side of the bed the bed will touch the wall rather than having that two feet of space that is usually nice for getting off of the bed we figured we could use that two feet of space somewhere else so sacrifice that and really make a tight bedroom the, and the bed will be centered on that window, so that'll be cozy when the window doesn't look out at a table saw. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, yeah, so we got done a lot with gear, and we're also left with a long list of things of what to do next and loft floor, safety railing for the loft, um, a bathroom door, but it's just us. We can live without a bathroom door for a long time. And pink finish. And we can probably live with just a curtain across the bedroom instead of a barn door for a long time. Um, especially if it's a pretty curtain, maybe we'll just like that more. We'll see. <laughs> um, you can, and, and like different things going on, like you can see behind the shower, that'll need to get finished off and that'll get finished off. A combination of uh, pantry cabinet section will be over here. And it'll end right here so pantry cabinets will hide part of the side of the shower and then a little bit more tongue and groove wall will hide the rest eventually we'll put a small bathroom door here and yeah that's where we're at in terms of the yurt project is a lot got done and a lot more to do but um, this was a huge phase push I'm really excited to move the bed in there and see how it looks a little closer to it organized and if we can get on the tongue and groove floor we can get the kids beds up there and that will be huge that's when we'll really start to see, see the, the open space that we want down yeah. here 